Well, I've always um, liked to, to draw and paint, even when I was uh, in, younger in school. And uh, after I got out of the uh, military, uh, I had a chance to go to Kendall down in uh, Grand Rapids. I went there and studied as an illustrator, and uh, as things just went from there. I uh, was doing uh, illustrations for different magazines a little bit when we were first uh, doing that, and then in time, uh, I got sick and wasn't able to do that kind of stuff, and we started doing uh, art, uh, more fine art, and taking it to shows, and then we've just been doing it here at the garage now. Working on it, working out of this shop, little shop that I got, and and selling right here, and it seems to work out pretty good for yeah. me. And that's all I'm happy, you know. Yeah, you seem to be happy. I noticed, as you can hear in the background, we've got cars going zooming on by. You're right next to what is this, 37? 37, I don't right? Know, about three and a half miles at a motel, and uh, you've got a nice studio here. Um, but you know, you've started, you've got your your formal training, and you've been into the world of artistry. But of course, what's so unusual about your art is you do have what some people call a handicap. Uh, things health-wise have right. been going in a different direction. Tell us a little bit about that and how you overcame this. Well, I had gotten sick and I, I had lost my, my, the use of my kidneys, so I'm doing dialysis. And then uh, I'd had some trouble and uh, lost a leg and lost my eyesight and I thought, at first, I had given up and thought, you know, I just can't do any of this stuff anymore. And then got to thinking, maybe I can. I just have to approach it different. And so what I did was, uh, like my painting, I have trouble with the colors. Mm -hmm. I know where they should be, but I can't always tell different colors from each other. So my wife comes in, sets them out for me on my palette. I have no problem, and I do my paintings. The carving, I, I realize that I don't have to necessarily see them to do them. I can, uh, feel them with my hand and mm -hmm. uh, carve them that way and I so I can still carve and I, I learned that you can do a lot of things you just gotta do it maybe a little bit different than you used to and uh, life goes on you can do all that stuff you just gotta get out there and do it. Mm. Was yeah. it a hard decision for you to make I mean it must have gone through a time when you thought I really wonder if this if I can do this I mean tell us <laughs> yeah. you you had to go through a point of why? Yeah. How? Yeah. In, in the beginning, I thought, w uh, what am I going to do? You know, and, and in the beginning, you, you kind of give up. But then I kept thinking, there has to be something that I can do again. Uh, and so we just started, I started trying things. And so, if this didn't work, I'd try it a di little bit different. And if that didn't work, I just kept trying until I figured out that I can. You can do those, like for me, I, I, I figured out that I can see, but I see it different oh. than I used to. And so I just have to carve it different. And so maybe, maybe my detail isn't quite the same that it used to be, but it's, it's still there. And uh, I, I can do the uh, paintings. Maybe I can't see all the little nuances, but, but my mind still knows they're there. And mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of... Uh, of getting out and, and doing it. I don't know how else better to say than it. You just, you just got to do it. Right. You, you just got to get out there and... And it's trying. Yeah. And see what happens. Yeah. And what I, what struck me, Randy, is coming in here and to see these, these acrylics that you've done, these portraits, you know, if I didn't know that you had what happened to you, a handicap, some say, of so or sorts, I wouldn't have known. I would say that this is an incredible artist, no matter, you know, what the handicap might be. You, you, as far as I'm concerned, you, you're fully capable of any other artist, no matter sighted or, or what. You know, yeah. and I, I really, really am just amazed at this God-given talent that you've got yes. here. Thank you, and that's what it is, a God-given given talent. And that's what everybody has to remember, is that he gave it to you. He's not going to take it away from you. You just got to, maybe he wants you to see it different. There, there you, you know? go. Amen to that. So. so tell us, I mean, you are still on dialysis i mean yeah. uh, this is something that i do that three times a week three times a week yeah. so uh, this is a wednesday this is a wednesday we're meeting with you and when's the last time you had dialysis yesterday yeah, yeah. yesterday yeah and uh, i'll have it again tomorrow i have it uh tuesdays wednesdays and saturdays and mm -hmm. uh what i do is i go up there at six o'clock in the morning and i'm off up there until about nine or ten then we come back from granite or cadillac and Susie uh, feeds me lunch, that's my wife, and then I come down here for the rest of the day, probably till about 
five or six, and then the, the following day when it's uh, non-dialysis non day, I come down here at about eight o'clock and stay till about five or six again. And, you know, I, I make a little bit of money, so it keeps me happy there, and it, it gives me uh, what I need to make more things, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, but I, every day, I, I keep going at it, and I just feel bad sometimes. Uh, some of the people up there at Dallas, they just act like after dialysis, there's nothing they can do, and they can still knit or saw, sew or work in the shop or work in the garden. They can still do all the things they want to do, basically. They just got to want to do them. That's the whole point for me was what I used to do, no, there's some of them things, like I can't wade in the river anymore like I used to. And uh, even uh, canoeing down the river, I can go with other people, but I really can't see well enough probably to do it myself anymore. But so, so I can't do that anymore that way. But that doesn't mean that I still can't draw on those memories, like you said, and still have a part of that river in me that I can show other people, even though it's, like I say, it's not the same as it used to be for me. Uh, I might be able to show somebody how to, when, when we were going down the river and I was guiding, how to catch the trout. Well, I can't really do that any longer, but I can show you that trout on a, on a painting, you know, or the guy on the painting or whatever it may be. And the point is with anybody, maybe you can't do things exactly like you used to do, but you can still do things. That's the point. It's not, and I'm not trying to, uh, anybody can, anybody can. That's the whole point. I don't know how else to tell you that. No, maybe you can't walk the same as you used to, but you can still do something, even if it's walking a, uh, with crutches or be in a little wheelchair or something. And you can still do things is the point, I guess, mm -hmm. with me. And that's what it took me a while to, to realize is that I could still do this stuff even though I can't do it the same as I used to do it. And still influence so, people and... Right, and hope, hope that maybe they'll see what I used to see. Well, you know. you plan on going with this, just continuing with what you're doing and, and uh, creating different avenues I mean you, you've got all sorts of medium I mean you've got this etching type of uh, board you've got the uh, scrimshaw you've got uh, wood carving you've got well <laughs> I, I, what, are, you, are you thinking about going in, in other art form directions or are you no I just I really like the wood, the wood so okay. I'll probably work on that more and more I've been making those boxes here lately for different people I enjoy that and and carving the looms and whatever and I I guess with me, it's I, I carve for a while, and then if I get bored with that, I go get make a painting, and if I get bored with that, I go do a scrimshaw. And what what I do that for is I think sometimes it it does me good to branch out a little bit that way. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And not always do the same thing all the time because you can get kind of in a rut. If I, I do a lot at once because maybe why this one's dry, and I can be over here working on this one, and when mm -hmm. this one has maybe stop for a while for whatever reason, maybe I'm waiting for the paint or the uh, something to dry. I can go over there to the scratch board and do that for a little while. And mm -hmm. It just, that way I'm constantly doing something. Otherwise you can, there again, you can, something can stop you and for a little while and you can get downtime that you really don't need or want, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just keep going at whatever I got to work at at the time. Well, you know, you know I've got, my wife has been, fantastic. I mean, she's done a lot for me. I mean, she's had to help me with things that I just couldn't do myself. And even here in the artwork, she's had, like I say, she's had to help me set up my paints a lot of times, or maybe that something doesn't look quite right to me and somehow, and so she'll look at it and tell me where I probably did wrong or whatever. And it's not just Susie. Um, my son's been uh, helping me here and there in the shop with things that I need, like setting up the saws and stuff sometimes. And, and it's just not my family. Uh, I've had the Blind Association. They've been real good to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, they've done a lot of different things for me to help me. They gave me the confidence I needed to learn to walk again, kind of, because when my first, when my eyesight, you know, went out, I was afraid to even move out of my chair. And then, uh, the people up at Dialis, they've been wonderful, you know, and they've taught me, you know, about my body and what I need to do to make that 
uh, still work right. And uh, it's not any one person I can say that that's helped me in that sense. It's been a lot of different groups, you know, of people. It's been the nurses and uh, my wife and my son and my mother and uh, my in-laws, all of them, you know. And that, and that makes a big difference, uh, you know, because you need that. You, you know, nobody's an island all to himself, you know.